going on, guys? Black Sky Survival Late Night Live. Happy Resurrection Day. Now, we've got a lot of stuff to cover. Pretty wild stuff. Let's first start off with this. And there's been a lot of discussion about CERN over the years. But CERN, discovery of a 4D phantom in CERN super proton synchrotron revealed by scientists. According to scientists at CERN, a mysterious entity was detected inside their part particle collider. Physicists claim they have captured and calculated the characteristics of a ghost-like structure and invisible entity that they can alter the paths of particles. Wow. So if you don't know what CERN is, CERN is it's a group of phys physicists and engineers use the world's largest and most complex scientific instruments to study the basic con constituents of matter fundamental particles and it should not surprise you that george soros helps fund this operation as well as the u.s government now have you ever heard of the cern's ritual hoax cern ritual hoax is a is a found footage video that depicts a faux occult ritual occurring on the grounds of cern the intergovernmental organization that operates the largest particle physics laboratory in the world the video became popular in August 2016 and shows several people dressed in black cloaks surrounding a statue of the Hindu deity Shiva and apparently performing a human sacrifice and apparent mockery of existing conspiracies. Now, why would they do that? And always, whenever they call something a hoax, I always, my spidey senses always go off where I question whether it is. And you can see a photo of it there. But we, we can't then overlook this fact check here let me get up on the screen fact check scientists at cern are op not opening a portal to hell well the claim scientists at cern are communicating with demonic entities and opening a portal to hell so don't you always take two glances whenever you hear the word fact check and i'm not saying they're doing a portal to hell but man i mean there's a lot of weird stuff going on there and here's uh, a video of dr Astrid where she talks about them detecting be beings coming in and out of portals. Check it out. ...is dealing with um, radio, radionuclear research. But it is more than that because there are lots of physicians, I, ha I know some, they're doing very strange experimentation. There are beings from portals coming in and out. It's physicists from the CERN who told me this. They've testified so is, to beings coming in and out of portals. Yes. They have apparently... In the bottom of the stern, uh, this this portal, this door, where they are dealing with all the subatomic uh, dimensions, they say there are seventeen different dimensions of reality. That's what the, those physicists say. Some others say there are more dimensions. You know, and now when you look at what is going on in the stern, there is a fight from some of the military um, agencies. Uh, Intel, they say that there is a, a fight on time they're trying to change time very interesting and it's also interesting they have the you know the lord shiva statue on the grounds there very odd what, what does that have to do with anything why would you have it there the thing is is that if if someone said some kind of conspiracy theory about me that was completely false i would not partake in whatever they said i was doing just because of a joke why would I go through buying robes, setting up an event? I mean, these sort of things is, is strange, right? But talking about entities and beings, let's, let's talk about this right here. Not this one. I'm talking about that in a minute. Look at this. Natalie Perschel. That's not the name. I guess it's probably Nathan. A man pretending to be a woman was just sentenced to six years probation, 87 days in jail, and a must register as a sex offender for taking pictures of females in the women's bathroom of his company's office. This is what happens when you have inclusive bathroom policies. Now, why are you only getting probation? Uh, you know, why are you getting probation? 87 days in jail. That's not enough. And again, this is where this bathroom thing comes from. And this is this is the unraveling that we're seeing of our society. Because if you say anything against this, you get called 
names, you're homophobic, these sort of things. But the fact of the matter is we know that, you know, they're moving that, that pendulum towards children. And then I've talked about this before, but look at this New York post trans grandma, able to breastfeed baby with help of experimental hormone drugs. What type of experimenting are we doing on people? Experimental hormone drugs. So this guy can breastfeed. It is absolutely insane what our country is. And, and this is where I always get to where people are not seeing the writing on the wall. The, the country is on fire, man. Like everything, and, and if those aren't big enough for you, let's go ahead and talk about the elephant in the room, the thing that everybody's been talking about all weekend, that Biden replaces Easter with uh, Sunday of Transgender Day of Visibility. Now, his proclamation came on Good Friday, obviously another sec sacred holidays for Christians announced that transgender Americans are part of the fabric of our nation, right? Um, and the equality act and here's the the full write up here today we send a message to all transgender americans you are loved you are heard you are understood you belong you are america and my entire administration and i have your back now though for joe biden by virtue of the constitution and the laws of the united states do hereby proclaim march 31st as a transgender day of visibility i call upon all americans to join uplifting the lives and voices of transgender people throughout our nation Eliminate violence and dis discrimination based on gender identity. Now, I really don't know why we need a day of visibility <laughs> because it's very visible. It's all I see. It's every, every time I look around, I see this propaganda, man, a every day. I mean, you probably do too. You know, I, I don't watch television because you can't, you can't, man, commercials, you know, this and that, this movies every movie now is is got some kind of propaganda in every single movie every single tv show you name it has got some sort of propaganda in it and it's just the, the way it's going and then you know joy went, went went on to um prohibit religious symbols from easter celebrations at the white house declaring while declaring fl to fly the trans flag on resurrection day right now they this event is hosted largely for military families so no overtly religious art can be placed there the, what what this day is even about this is literally the left's new religion guys this is this is truly it and then we have the new york governor the governor also announced that New York state landmarks will be lit light pink, white, and light blue tomorrow, or this is on this post, but obviously happened today for the transgender day of visibility. So we have a ton of this going on. Now, will it be this day next year? No, it will not fall on resurrection day, but the fact they would do it at all, that it would collide with Christian's most sacred holiday being Resurrection Day, uh, Jesus Christ rising from the grave, is absolutely insane. Even even Bruce Jenner was outraged. I am absolutely disgusted that Joe Biden has declared the most holy of holy days, a self-proclaimed devout Catholic as transgender day of dis visibility. The only thing you should be declaring on this day is he has risen. Bruce, Bruce should go back to that Bible again. But anyway, yeah, Joe Biden always says he's a good Catholic, this and that, you know, uh, those sort of things. But Joe Biden and his puppet masters on the most significant day of on the Christian calendar, when churches around the entire globe, you know, are celebrating the resurrection of Jesus Christ, that who died, shed blood for our sins and all the sins of man, um, Biden administration uses it to, to, you know, flaunt sin, to, to celebrate it and, and glorify it and, and using our country to do that. Right. And you, you look at all these other groups of people that make up America, they get zero recognition or very little. And this is what these past three years of Biden presidency has completely been about. 
this has completely been about this. The the LGBT movement has completely been about that. And I said that if you go back, it was like I had a, a I picked apart basically during the BLM riots, and 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 I put this together just by somewhat happenstance. But during the George Floyd and, and BLM protests and riots uh, and chaos, there were more LGBT flags. And you probably, if you're if you've been watching me since then, I will talk about that. I was like, there's more LGBT flags within these riots and these organized chaos from George Soros and the other other evil doers of the world. And I was like, they're going to use this to piggyback this movement. I said that. I said that back then. People were upset. They said I was lying. I didn't know what I was talking about. And it happened. They used black people to move for this agenda. So what they try to do is, is they try to merge the groups together. Because no one wants to be called a racist, right? Most Americans are not racist. There's probably some. But the majority of Americans, I would say, are not. We're well past that. We know race is not something that should divide us is is absolutely not we're all americans and so most educated americans know that and so with that they said well race and homophobe together and so with that then what that did is and by and large i've seen a lot of the church a lot of the church back down from standing against that ideology Sent against that LGBT ideology, they stepped down because they didn't want to be cast in that same circle. And all the talk that Joe Biden did to get the the black American vote, he got it. And then he used black Americans to push forward this agenda. And it's been nothing but that since you've seen it. Every corporation, even corporations that seem to be good American companies have jumped headfirst into this movement. I did a video the other day about life straw doing it. And, and all these companies are pushing this agenda. Thanks to black rock Vanguard state street, George Soros, all these people push this. And I've got my own ideas and philosophies on why they're doing that. And I've talked about it quite extensively. If you want population reduction, what do you, what, what's one way you can go about it? Right. Um, so anyway, the, the, the bottom line though, and this is what I've been saying for a long time is that Christianity is under attack, you know, and it's the only religion that's freely attacked. And that is actually glorified when you attack it. This is all the proof that you need. Like the title of this video, all the proof you need. The Bible declared this thousands of years ago. Jesus said this. And you don't see Hinduism, Buddhism, Islam, or any other religion openly intact. Matter of fact, the the left will stand up against it. Now, even our government was founded on Judeo-Christian values, whether you like it or not. Forefathers founded it on that. Were they perfect people? Absolutely not. None of us are. None of us are perfect people. That's what you got to understand. So people, whenever they say they're a Christian, they expect you to a be Jesus Christ. Now that's what we should strive to be, but we are all short. We all fall short. We're all sinners. I'm a beggar just like everybody else, man. I'm trying to beg my way into heaven, right? And a lot of people will, when they see someone say they're a Christian and they don't live up to the, the belief that you're, then they turn off, turn away from Christianity. And there's some conservatives or um, right-wing guys that are not Christians. And they get upset when you say that the, the, the country is founded by our forefathers who were founded on Judeo-Christian values. Now, the thing is, again, they'll say, well, they did this, they did that. They weren't Jesus Christ either. They were, they were people like you and I, and we all make mistakes every day. We make them every day, every single day. And so I would say this though, in the past four to five years, if this country, the way it's been going, hasn't led you to Christ, man, it's absolutely demonic, the stuff we're seeing, 
if you were to see this 30 years ago or any Americans, they would have absolutely not believed it. Our country, our, our, our government glorifying sin and going after children, murdering babies in the womb, unborn babies, like it's absolutely demonic. You see what they're doing to kids in school, what they're teaching them? Teaching them things that are for adult adults, sexualizing them. It's absolutely demonic. In the past four or five years, you've seen it, it, them going full throttle against everything that is in the Christian values. You don't see other religions like that. Um, I did have Google. Google absolutely posted nothing, right? They, they didn't post anything. Like they, their little caricatures they post. They did not post anything for Good Friday or for Resurrection Day. But we see every other LGBT holiday or any other holiday like that, anything other outside of Christianity, then they'll go against it, you know. And by the way, <laughs> off topic for a moment, there was another bridge hit in Oklahoma. Another bridge was hit in Oklahoma. Check it out. County this afternoon, a barge hit a, was hit on a bridge, Highway 59, causing the road to cut down temporarily. Excuse me. Five News reporter Parker Abels was there and has reaction from a witness. Saturday afternoon around 1.20 p.m., a barge ran into this bridge on Highway 59 in LaFleur County, forcing the Oklahoma Department of Transportation to shut it down for a little over two hours. Dayton Holland was out fishing with her dad and boyfriend when it happened and walks us through what she saw. I look just to check on the barge, and it's really close to the bridge. And I was like, Dad, I said, is it? Is it about to hit the bridge? And he's like, no, I don't think so. And he turns around and he looks at the beach ball and then he looks back at the bridge and he was like, oh my God, yes, like it's about to hit it. One of the more shocking things to Holland is where the barge hit. And it, it was crazy to me that it hit it like in the middle of the barge. You know, like it wasn't the side of the barge. It wasn't it, like it was going dead for it. And when the barge hit the bridge, she said it sounded like a gunshot. Initial hit was very loud. Um, it sounded like gunshots going off, which was another scary thing. We, we never heard anything. And when the barge hit, they broke broke apart from each other. Some went downriver and some went towards the bank. But all in all, she's just glad that everyone is OK. Just so thankful that it didn't break the bridge. I, I couldn't imagine if it would have been cars would have been going off. I the Oklahoma Department of Transportation inspected the bridge and declared it safe by their engineers around four o'clock and reopened the bridge. No word on who owned the barge. No word on who owned the barge. I got some, I got some ideas. I had to play that clip because I like that young lady. Uh, you know, sometimes it's good to hear just normal people talking than um, paid reporters, you know. <laughs> Do you not find it strange that a boat hit a bridge within a week apart? Strange. Now, this didn't cause the level of destruction as the Francis Scott Key Bridge, but man, a week apart. 2024, dude, we were running into bridges. Now, remember when all those trains were getting derailed? One after another, one after another, one after another. And then, or all those food plants burning down. One right after the other. Planes literally falling in, into them. Too coincidental, right? Could this be the new epidemic? I think that, you know, if you put your tenfold hat on, you could come to some conclusions. And that's all I'm going to say. Anyhow, guys, I do appreciate you hanging out with me tonight, man. Um, it's always good to see you. Now, there's not a live stream little tab here because this is not a live stream. Because unfortunately, every one of my live streams, I'm, I've been put on some kind of list that every time I put a live stream up, I get hit for 48 hours. Um, before my video gets reviewed so this is the actual video that i'm posting and you i'm running as a, a premiere so you can comment and chat with each other like you normally do but uh if you if you send any uh super chats i can't respond to them because i don't really know but thank you so much if you did and guys uh remember christ is king and uh happy resurrection day
stay frosty, stay strapped, and always stay dangerous. Take care.